90-day fiancé's Jasmine Panetta revealed she wouldn't mind having a child with Nikki Exoteca. These stars would make such an interesting couple. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, please subscribe and keep watching for more details. Jasmine Panetta recently came out as bisexual, admitting to having a crush on Nikki Exotica at the 90-day fiancé season 10 Tell All, and they could be a good match. Jasmine married Gino Palasolo at the end of 90 Day Fiance Season 10, where Nikki, who was in a relationship with Igor Shutenkov, aka Justin, broke up before exchanging vows. After revealing that she is bisexual, Jasmine indicated she was open to carrying Nikki's child when asked who she would consider having a kid with other than Gino. Nikki and Jasmine shared their first pictures together in October 2023, and Jasmine noted they were new friends. Recently, Nikki shared a series of photos with her 90-day fiancé cast member as well, praising Jasmine. If Nikki and Jasmine decided to date, they could be an incredible couple. Throughout 90-day fiancé season 10, Nikki has proven to be one of the most manipulative cast members other than Jasmine. Nikki met Justin over 20 years ago and didn't immediately disclose she was transgender. Which he eventually did, Justin broke up with Nikki and went through a depressive phase before they reconnected. Nikki admitted to supporting Justin financially and went overboard to keep him hooked even after he admitted he was having trouble connecting with her physically. On the other hand, Jasmine often manipulated Gino to agree to her crazy demands. Jasmine has, over time, threatened to leave Gino and often used Dane, her ex-boyfriend, as a weapon to hurt Gino. During the 90-day fiancé season, 10 Tell All, Gino admitted that Jasmine's hurtful words made it hard for him to love her completely. Jasmine has repeatedly proven that Gino needs to provide for her financially. She uses him for his money, and he falls for her charm every time. It is the reason why Jasmine used her wedding gown money on butt implants, knowing that Gino would give her more. Nikki also used the money to manipulate Justin into liking her and staying in the relationship. Despite Justin showing Nikki he had hesitations regarding their relationship, she flew to Moldova to see him after they had broken up and he returned her engagement ring. During the tell-all, Nikki took off the engagement ring and told Justin he would never find a better woman than her. During the 90-day fiancé tell-all, Nikki had a full-on attack after Justin told her he isn't trans-attracted and gives him man vibes. Ashley Michelle used that moment to lecture Justin, while Nikki added that Justin should have treated her like a queen. Nikki said he treated him like a king, but never got similar treatment. Justin claimed Nikki was the most dominant person in the relationship. Later, when Nikki's mom joined, things got worse, with the rest of the cast members attacking Justin for his comments. Jasmine stated Justin was in for the benefits and nothing else, and Nikki noted Justin wouldn't get a better woman like her. Jasmine had outrageous outbursts during the tell, all after walking off stage and freaking out, and Nikki helped her calm down. Jasmine verbally attacked Gino after seeing the footage from his bachelor's party, but Gino said he didn't do anything wrong. Jasmine has shown how controlling she is during her time in the 90-day Fianti franchise, from Gino's wall hangings to him cutting off contact with his exes. 